Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to find a lost or missing raider, as well as some general tips to prevent them from getting lost in the first place. Um, if you do find the video helpful, please remember to leave a like so that other people can find this video much easier. The easiest way to find where a lost or missing raider is, is to listen out for the sound. If you have a stereo headset, you will be able to hear which side you need to go to. You'll hear the sound in your left or right ear, uh, depending on where the missing radar is. For this video, I just have the volume on the TV set on, so a headset isn't completely necessary. Just uh, turn your camera around until you hear the sound the loudest and head in that direction. Now if you don't see a radar above ground when you follow the sound, just look for small caves or openings that they may have fallen into. Remember that raiders can spawn inside of caves and even player made tunnels. As you can see, one of the raiders fell into a bit of water and got stuck under a block. This can happen and uh, that's why you sometimes lose the raider. Beside the normal raid mobs, witches are also counted towards the raid bar. The witch in the video spawned inside a nearby cave and was hard to find even following the sound of the horn. So it's not a complete science, but it is the best way to find the missing raiders that I found. Um, the only reason why I knew where to find the witch is because when I made my first Let's Play video, the last raider that we couldn't find spawned in here, in this cave, and was trapped by the flow of water under these blocks. We actually only found him a week later when we were just uh, exploring the cave. So leave a comment down below if you guys are facing any other problems in Minecraft. I'll try to give you a helping hand and make a, a video on it if I need to show you uh, what to do exactly. Now I'm going to cover some general tips and rules for the raid that you should follow so that you guys don't lose any raiders in the future. Tip 1. When you start the raid and when the waves initially spawn, try to locate the area where the raiders spawn in the beginning. Most of them will spawn above ground and if one is trapped below the ground then you'll know the general area where you should actually look for them. Tip 2. Try not to build a villager breeder close to the village as it extends the village boundaries and can make the villagers or the raiders spawn far away and inside of caves that are out of the boundaries of the village. Tip 3. Try to fill up any holes or caves that you think a raider can spawn inside and remember that raiders can spawn inside tunnels that you make. Tip 4. Do not start a raid in a village with a lot of caves and holes that the raiders can spawn or fall into. Villages near ravines are a big no. Villages like the one in the video that you're watching right now are definitely not suitable as well. As you can see, there are many caves, holes in the ground and many pathways under the water of the actual village. Tip number 5. Raiders will only spawn within a set area around the village. If the raider bar disappears, then you are no longer in the raid area, so you won't find any of the raiders out there. So just head back into the raid area and look around there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more.